no matter who or what privileges our user has, we want to give him the possibility of editing his profile. So let's go ahead and create a profiles controller that is going to be in charge of that. So PHP Addison make controller and this is going to be profiles controller and we'll just generate resource right there just for some helpful methods. Okay, so that profile controller is created. Let's head over to it and profiles controller. What we're going to be doing is just have a single page. Okay, and this page is going to be the index page. So we'd return view and this is going to be admin dot users dot profile dot blade dot PHP and we're going to return the user right there. So we say send with the user and we'll say app and we'll say user and the user we're going to be passing in here is the authenticated user. So we'll say auth user right there. Okay, so we need to import that class. So we'll say use auth. So we got the authenticated user right here. So we can access that page, but we need to create it. So right down into our views in our users directory, we'll have a profile dot blade dot PHP. And in this profile, what it's going to do is actually just look somehow like the create user. So we'll just say at the top, it's not going to be create a new user. It's going to be edit your profile. And this is going to go to user dot profile. And right here we'll have the username and right here we'll have the email and would we'll also create a field for the user to be able to edit his password. So we'll say password. Or let's just call that field new password and the email it's not gonna be email it's gonna be password we also have a field for the user to edit his avatar so we're not gonna have new password we're gonna have upload new avatar and this is gonna be the avatar field and it's gonna be a file and uh, the next thing we're gonna have is also some text field and this is not gonna be name equals password is gonna be Facebook Okay, so you say right here, Facebook profile, and we're also going to have a YouTube profile and we'll say right here, YouTube profile, and the name is going to be YouTube. Okay, so we have the Facebook, YouTube, we have the avatar, we have the password, which is supposed to be of type password, and uh, we have email, we have name. Okay, so looks like we got everything. Oh, one more field. So div dot form group, and this is gonna be for the about. Okay, so we need to know something about the user. So we're gonna say about, and we'll say about you, and this is gonna be a text area dot form control, and the name is gonna be about, ID is gonna be about. Okay, and this we don't need so many columns. We're gonna just have six, and maybe six right here. Now that we set up all these fields in our form for editing profile, let's just make sure it works. So we need to create this route so we don't have errors. So right here, we're going to have a route and this is going to be a get and it's going to go to user slash profile and we'll say uses profiles controller at index method. And the next thing is going to be as user dot profile. Okay. So Right here, our user.profile, we're going to change the name to user.profile.update so that there's a little difference. Okay, so we need to create that post route. So we'll say route, and it's going to be a post. And right here, it's going to go to user slash profile slash update. Okay, receive an array as profiles controller at the update method. Okay. And we'll just say as and sorry, this is supposed to be uses and we'll say as and this is going to be as user.profile.update. Remember? Okay. So user.profile.update right there. So let's go ahead and see this. So notice we are not passing any parameters for updating because we can also actually have the authenticated user in our profiles controller. Okay, so anywhere in application, we can just use the auth facet and get the authenticated user. So right here, we don't need ID for identification because we already know the user with our auth user class. Okay, so right here, we have a route to see the user's profile. And when we visit that route, it's going to take us to the page where we see the user. Okay, so right here, 
we are returning the user's profile but we are returning also with the object of the user's data okay so the authenticated user's data and guess what we can actually remove all of this okay because in our views we can also assess the authenticated user but let's just go ahead and put that there so that we have access to a variable we can use so right here let's go ahead and visit that page but let's just create in our app.blade.php a route that can help us see our profile so right here i'll just duplicate this and i'll paste that in right here and we're just gonna say my profile and this is gonna be user dot profile okay so hope that makes sense if I refresh, you discover we have a My Profile route. If I click on that, it takes me to the page where we set up our form. So we can have our name and the new password is going to be if we want to set up a new password. And the upload new avatar is going to be if we want to change our profile, avatar and all that. Okay, so but we see this data is actually not being filled in. So this is just because of my browser. There's no data there. So we'll be able to fill in this data so that the user can see the current information he has. So let's do that. In our profile.blade.php, when we are viewing the user, we're going to echo out the name of the user. So we'll say the user variable we passed and we'll assess the name. For the email, we'll have a value of email. So the users. And for the new password, obviously, it's going to be blank. And the, the avatar tool is going to be the same. And the profile is going to be of value, the user's profile. So we'll say user and we'll say the profile right there. And we'll assess the Facebook field of the profiles table. We have that relationship. And then we assess the Facebook for the profile of that user. Okay. So we'll have exactly the same thing for our YouTube link. So right here, we're not going to have Facebook. We're going to have you. Two. So we access the profile for that user and we get the YouTube channel link. So right here, we're going to also be echoing out the about information. And remember, the about information is on our user, our profiles table. So we'll say profile for that user and get the about information. So let's go ahead and refresh. And we should have fresh data in there. So right here, it's Emily and her email is there. And if she wants to set a new password, she can type it right there. And she can upload a new image. And since these fields are blank, obviously they are empty. Okay, so let's change that button to say update profile. Okay, so now that we set up this font, this form, let's go ahead and give the possibility for the user to update his profile in the next video.